<sighs> Hello everybody, welcome to the channel again. How you doing? From whichever part of the world you are watching this video from. It's nice to have you back. My name is Luben. If you are new, subscribe, hit the like button. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. In case I release another video like this, you can keep up. So in today's video, what I will be talking about is male fertility. At which age is it best for a man to have kids or to get married you know for the male not the female so now basically most people can have different opinions in the sense that they have work their own type of work might be different from others maybe the type of work they do on a daily basis might not really give them that time to have a family to some it could be they are not just ready yet regardless of the age and all of that so today we'll just piece it down and know at which age should a man be ready or should a man be you know much more accessible to getting married and having kids so subscribe hit the like button yes so now the best age for a man for me to become a father one thing about the male biological body is the male does not stop producing sperm unlike the woman for the female you notice that at the age of 35 to 45 they're about they reach their menopause so therefore means at that point they will not be able to produce an egg for fertilization or anything but for the male their sperm count is always like they keep producing these sperm even at old age but then what happens is as the man progresses to old age there are some changes that occur in his body. Let's say the damage to DNA and some of the cells become tired. You know, like it's just like a machine. Over time, it gets worn out. So it's the same thing for a male. Over time, some of the DNA that could keep the cells integrity become tired or let's say become destroyed. So you can compare a 70-year-old man sperm count or sperm uh, um, health or let's say uh, sperm power to a 20-year-old or maybe 25-year-old male. This are two different or those similar but two different cases now the best age basically also have with advantage and also disadvantages now for a male if, if, if a man is supposed to maybe get married by the age of 20 to 25 yes there are benefits from there right the child will definitely be uh, healthy and then the sperms are very, very active and very very healthy and strong at that point they are they are prime or let's say very very active at that point but then what happens is if the male is not mentally or financially prepared for it it can also cause a lot of problems let's say someone who is like 25 years old now or 24 who wants to get married and you are not prepared for it they say your financial aspect is not really that good now Yes, the child uh, might be cool and all of that, you know, spends are fetter and all of that. But then you, you will discover that the person might not live longer because now there's so much workload that will be invested on that person's head or that particular male. So, and the research shows that people, so males who get married or who become a father at the age of 24, 25, usually die in their middle age. You know, it, it might not be true for everybody else, but it's like the, the statistics shows that majority that are that because now you will f be faced with so much so much that you've not even prepared most especially something you've not prepared for it could really be bad and also you will notice that these ones face some mental problems now if you have a baby if you have a father if you become a father then directly proportional to you having a wife so imagine if you are not prepared for having a wife at the age of 25 and then you happen to have a kid by that age you have a wife too. Now, the wife is a responsibility. The baby is also a responsibility. And raising a child also has to do with a lot. It does not just come from only money. It's not, it's not just about you having the financial aspect and then you say you are good. There are other things that also maturity. A lot comes with just raising a baby or raising a child, not just the financial aspect. So that's why it's being um, advised that you have to be prepared for it. Now, talking about the best age, Usually, uh, studies show that at the age of 30, 35, 30, 35 to 40, children who, uh, their fathers who are that, at that age and were given better age, you discover that they are being raised in a better, in terms of um, better home training. Those ones get a better home training and the family tends to, to work more in harmony, 
much more compared to someone who was younger, who was like 24 or 25, getting married at that point. So whichever way or whichever bracket you fall yourself into, you just have to notice that if you allow yourself to stay too long, let's say you say, okay, let me just allow myself to reach 40, 45, you will discover that these spams might not really be good enough compared to when you were at your prime, let's say 35 to 40. Or let's say if you are at 50, your spends count might even reduce. There are so many uh, 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 changes that has occurred in your body over time that might not really be the same thing when you were young. And there's going to be factors that can affect you in terms of having a baby or having a child. You also have to understand this. The older you get, there are some habits that you can't get rid of and there are some habits you need to stop. Some of the habits include heavy drinking of alcohol, you know, being overweight, being uh, obese. Because some of these things affect you from the inside, but you might not know. Remember that your inner body also communicates with your outer body. So someone who is active, someone who is active, who is, you know, active, who is not obese, who is, you know, always there being his own thing, you know, and all of that, you will notice that your inner body also captivates that. So now, in summary, what we are trying to understand here is that the most fertile age bracket for a man is at the age of 20 to 25. That's when the spends are very fertile. But then it is being advised that if you are not prepared for it, which is possible that majority of the men out here by the age of 25, 25, that's when, 24, 25, that's when you are still trying to figure out, like, that's when you are still trying to get your stuff together. So if you are not really prepared for it, don't go into it because it must still lead to serious uh, problems, you know, by having, you know, you might not really be prepared for it. And then in the end, it puts you in a situation where you might still have to suffer within the rest of your life. So by the age of 35, 30, 35, that's your prime, which is like, okay, that's the, the when you are fully prepared, which is still the best time for you to actually get married. Now, remember, the best time for you to get married and the be- most futile era of you as a man is quite different or it's quite unique, but although it's similar. So, we see the most fertile is about 20 to 25, but the best time for you to get married or to become a father is at the age of 30, 35. Why? Because from 24, 25, you are not fully prepared for you. You might not even really have your life together. This is a time where you, you in your 20s, early 20s, you are still trying to, you know, be stable in another aspect. You are not, probably you might not even be matured enough. You are still trying to figure out yourself, be the best of version of yourself and all of that. So by the age of 30, 35, that's your prime. And that's when mostly it's advised that you as a man, you should possibly have, you know, become a father at that point. Because if you allow yourself to raise like 40, 45 days about, there's a, a high risk of your your maybe wife or whatever having a miscarriage. Regardless of the wife's age, even if the wife is 25, 24, or early in her 20s, there are risk of that particular woman having miscarriage if you are like 50 or 45 there about. But there are some people that <clears throat> you will notice that even at the age of 70, they were able to fertilize or even give birth to children and they grew up happily. But trust me, what happened to John might not really be the same that will happen to Paul. What that means is just because it worked for someone in your neighborhood doesn't mean it work for you because the chances are very slim of it happening to you. So the best futile, the most futile point is at 20, 25. Best time for you to actually get married is about 30, 35. And there can also be other factors that can hamper your sperm count or try to reduce your sperm motility. These factors include smoking, it could be poor diet, it could be obesity, it could be, you know, a sedentary lifestyle. So like I said, thank you for watching. My name is Luben. If you are new to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So that in case I release a video like this, you can catch up.